Good morning, everybody. It is currently Sunday as I am filming this video, and today is the day of Jackie and Bob's arrival. I feel like I've been talking about that in the last like four videos. I've also been talking about all the tasks that we need to do in the last several videos, which they are complete. So that was the stroller building that Larry built it. It's really cute, so I'm gonna show you guys that. I did decorate for Easter, spring. However, I didn't film decorating because I was doing it yesterday while I was cleaning and decorating. It was like a crazy day of trying to catch up and get everything done. But I am gonna show you guys the decor. I kept it pretty low key, but cute. And there was another task that I kept saying that I wanted to show you guys, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna film Jackie and Bob in this video because when they get here, they're, they just traveled. They're gonna be tired, so they probably won't be in this video, but I'm gonna film up until they come here. And we have some prep. I wanted to make like a nice dinner for them so they didn't have to worry about figuring out food for the evening. So I'm gonna make two types of lasagna today, one for Larry and one for the rest of us. And so originally Larry was like, I'll just have like burgers on the grill. And then I was like, wait a minute, I can make your spaghetti lasagna style and then we can all have lasagna. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna put American cheese singles in his so we're gonna see how that tastes. And then for ours, Bob doesn't like ricotta, which is funny because I'm not really a huge fan of ricotta cheese either. I tolerate it, but I'm not a huge fan of it. So he prefers mozzarella in his lasagna. So I'm gonna do a meat sauce with mozzarella. And then the last time I did make lasagna, I filmed it and you guys were like, get the noodles that you don't have to boil and blah, blah, blah. So I did, I'm gonna try it this time. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna make lasagna today. I need to cut up a fresh pineapple. I did do a grocery huge haul yesterday too to prepare. Let me show you the Easter decor that I have done. And then we'll see the stroller and the, um, what is it called, Larry? Car seat. Car seat, thank you, yes. Okay, first, the kitchen decor for Easter. Very simple. Back behind the sink, I put the little chocolate ceramic bunnies and this little egg, and that's the pineapple. Oh, <laughs> this is the pineapple that we're gonna be chopping up today. I did not do anything to the coffee station, but we do need to refill the coffee pods before Bob and Jackie get here. Oh, I purchased a beautiful, heavy duty ceramic. I have clear glass ones, but I really wanted like a ceramic casserole dish. I found this at Publix and this is what we're gonna make the lasagna in today and I'm very excited about that. Highly recommended by our cashier. Yeah, she was very excited about it. Oh, this is, this little cabinet over here is a collection of things that you guys have sent in the PO box and just things that we've already had. So this little cat my mom found at a yard sale and it comes with little holiday <laughs> decorations. So the cat is wearing bunny ears and a little egg Easter Halloween bib. Christmas. Yeah, Easter, Easter Halloween Christmas. I think that's it. That's it? Yeah. Hi, Betsy. Good morning. All right, let's take you guys into the living room. On this table, I have the little bunny candles. And then my bunny girl and boy, which you guys remember, if you're new, you don't remember. We, my mom got these for me from Kohl's and one of the legs <laughs> fell off or is missing, but still love her. And you know, she's doing great. Moving over to the fireplace, which is one of my favorite places. Usually I have an egg garland that I used to lay on top and with the bunny garland, it just looked overdone and it was way too much. So. I have the little baskets. I've been leaving these on the floor because the girls love to sleep in that basket. And then this one, I don't know what to do with. Um, let me know if you guys have any ideas what to do with this basket, because it's kind of narrow. It's smaller than it appears. So let me know what ideas you have that I could use that for. But right now I just kind of like the textured decor. We have these two gnomes, the bunny garland, this vase and then this I believe I got at Hobby Lobby and then these are dried flowers from one of my flower arrangements that I had a long time ago. Another little gnome, a bunny house. And then here on the coffee table, I just did a really simple, what are these? These are also from Hobby Lobby. They're really cool, like pastel thingies. <laughs> little pastel eggs and that's about it. That's all I did for Easter. Oh, this is out. 
We have the Robin eggs, which I need to refill and that. And now the chocolate eggs. What chocolate? Bunnies? Yeah. Yes, Sorry. I did. Thanks for checking. <laughs> and then let's go into here. Oh, I also have this little guy on my door. Here it is. Larry built it. It's very cute. I will link the one down below that we purchased. And then this is the toddler seat. So we're going to have to find somewhere to store it because right now these items are storing in my office because I don't really have a place to put them quite yet. And then this is the car seat base. Hi, Luna. You checking it out? But guys, it is smooth. It's like the smoothest shopping cart I ever did see. Like there is nothing smoother than this. You want to push it, but it's not a shopping cart. It's smoother. Like what I'm trying to say is, oh, my camera just totally bent. You guys know how it is when you go to the grocery store. Good luck with your shopping cart. Hello, Dobby. <laughs> Good luck with your shopping cart because usually the wheel's like all busted and it's dragging across the floor and it's doing the d -d 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 as you you know what I mean? This is a Cadillac. It glides. I love it. So you want to push it and show them or you can film me pushing it. <laughs> Larry wanted to film me pushing it. We did it for the first time yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yesterday yeah. morning. But we weren't filming, but it was really fun. And we were practicing taking the thingy out, the car seat in and out of the, which is not very easy. We haven't quite mastered that yet, but here it is looks wonderful. Luna, your baby brother is going to be in here soon. She's not thrilled. But yeah, it's very smooth. And then let's practice taking it out, right? So, well, we're already having a great start. <laughs> okay, I already forget. In the Wait, back, I remember. Mark. I remember. This was the other way. We had it flipped the other way when we were practicing. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, I got it in. Getting it out for me was easier than putting it in. Putting it in was not an easy task. Now wait before you put it back. Okay. Let them know about this part. I did. Oh, you did the already? The car seat base? Yeah. Yeah. This gets anchored in the car. That part. Yep. And then that gets mated, mated into this and it gets anchored. Mated? Mated. <laughs> That's funny. And I had said we need to practice this so that the transition is smooth because the first couple of times clicking that out, it was like traumatic. You're not, not in on this See, side. See, how do I figure out how I'm like in? It's so frustrating. Close on this side. See, that is not ideal. Now you're in. But it didn't click. No. <gasps> This is why get your stuff so you can practice so you're not doing this. <laughs> I will not be defeated. <laughs> why do I struggle with it? You can do it. But why isn't it going? Come on, man. Don't do this for me. I will be a great mom. I will know how to do this. Why won't it go in? Like, you can't do this when you have a baby in there. You can't be like... <laughs> A little guy will get indigestion or something from... I need to be a perfect... This is embarrassing! Don't judge me. You can edit this part out. But I almost should just keep it in because it's realistic. And I know I cannot be the only one, okay? Okay, why isn't it going in now? And then watch, I'm gonna have Larry come take over because I can't get it in and he's gonna get it just like that. Go on, yeah. Larry. It's not like I threw a football in a hole for a few times and missed because he came in and hit it on the first shot. Camera's about to die, so you only have a quick second. Too much pressure. Yep. All right. <laughs> you did it. Well done. See, why am I not doing it right? How am I not, what am I doing wrong? Am I trying to be too gentle with it and I'm not pushing it in hard enough because I was lined up? Well, here, try this. Uh, you do want to hear it. You click. You do hear it click so that you know. Did it die? No, that was my. 
So watch. Next time, do this. Squeeze this first. Oh, that's right. I forgot you told me to do that. Make it easier. Heard it, okay. So give that a try. Round two. We shall master this. All right, pulling it out, not that big of a deal. We got that. That was smooth. Transition, great, okay. So I click it. Now even though you didn't hear the click, you can still pull up on it to make sure that it's in there. And there you go, you're on your way. Yay, we can do grocery shopping now. That's good. And go to the park. That was, I'm seriously going to practice this morning and night multiple times a day. It's going to be smooth. The transition is going to be great. What we have not figured out yet with said baby stroller is these. These are like in there tight and good. So we have well, to Well, you like... have to unbuckle them and then loosen them. Well, I did unbuckle them before. The unbuckles I've got. But loosen them? Yeah. How does one loosen them? Read the manual. It'll tell you how to... RTF them? Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Because there's like... These are his little shoulder pads. But there's no way to like... Get yeah, more it's... slack. There so it must come from the back side. It probably does. Nope, there's nothing in the back side. So, we'll Clean have back to, side is a happy back side. <laughs> we'll have to research how to stretch those little guys out because there's no give on these at all. And there's no slack underneath. Where does it? Oh, there is. Yeah, there you go. But how? Anyways, so that's next on the task list, but we just wanted to show you guys that. I'm sure there's people like making fun of me right now. That's like a five-point NASCAR system. I have cramps now. Why do I have cramps? Oh, I don't like that. Ooh, baby said that's enough for today. Thank you. Ooh, really do have like mild cramps. Ugh. So, speaking of, I am, as I am filming this video, 17 weeks, but the 20-week scan is coming up soon. Yay! So that is exciting. Luna, this is going back there, okay? They're in the parking spot. Don't worry, it's okay. I know, it's something new. Oh, the curtains! Curtains? That was the other item that we got up and ready. Let's park the Cadillac. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Let's park the Cadillac, bang! <laughs> this is also another little Easter decor. So, the curtains. You want to show them the demo, babe? Or you know what? Let's show them in uh, the guest bedroom. Or should we not? Because you just painted. Oh, okay. okay. We're going to show you guys in the guest bedroom. We have the room darkening blinds. I forget the brand name. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. We can find out for them. Okay. If you want. Okay. They're good. They are very good. We purchased those at... Home Depot? Home Depot. Mm -hmm. We did. Oh, we also got a new curtain rod. This is just the beginning stages of redoing baby's room. And there's so much heat that comes off these windows, so these are excellent at keeping the heat out because this room gets so hot. Ta-da! Like, look at that already. And then the curtains I got from Kohl's. Holes. And they're also oh, blackout. Yeah. And the plus side about this is, this room is on the side of the house where in the morning the sun doesn't come directly through the window. But at night there's a street light right outside, which lights up this room quite a bit. You'd be surprised how much light you get in the room with the street light. Mm -hmm. So this eliminates, I don't know, like 94.678% of the street light. That's an approximate. <laughs> but then... These are room darkening drapes. Ta da! Actually, we overlap it this way. Larry Make does. Sure. He's a perfectionist. Because that's the direction the light's coming from. 
But I walked by here last night, and it looked like the big black hole up in outer space. <laughs> you couldn't see anything in this room. Well, I said Bob and Jackie, they're probably going to sleep in until noon and think it's still dark outside because it was so dark in this room. But they're on vacation, so if they want oh, to, Oh, absolutely, should. yeah, 100%. Well, Jackie will be up. I know Jackie. Jackie gets up very early. Bob, on the other hand, might have a difficulty getting up with these blinds as dark as they are. He'll probably do a snooze in. Well, to Bob's credit, he does get up early yeah. once in a while. That's right. And then about 10 minutes later, he finds the couch, and about five minutes later, he's snoring. <laughs> okay, Bob. The retired life, right, Bob? That's right, the retired life. So that's the guest bedroom. Those are the updates. We finally have completed the updates that we said we wanted to do, and I'm very excited about that. So now I want to chop up, whoa, blue lighting. Do you guys see how blue that is? Everything's blue. It must be because we shut the blinds in that room and now my camera's like, doesn't know what to do. Anyways, um, we need to chop up pineapple. We need to make the lasagna, two different kinds, and just gonna hang out together today. But I was very excited to show you guys the decor and the updates that we did. Hello everybody, Larry here, taking over the camera for a second. Mindy forgot to show these little bunnies and the cardinal. So I thought they're too cute not to be able to show, so we had to show them, so here they are. So there to the left bottom of the screen you can see one of our lizard friends, a node, or gecko, or actually a node, but it has this one's full attention. She's meowing, got the tail flip going. That's your friend coming for a visit. You'd be good. I am browning the meat for the lasagna for both Larry and ourselves, or the rest of us, but I wanted to show you what I'm going to add to mine before I do it all and what's going into Larry's. So here are the meats browning. Larry is just going to get the no salt added tomato. That is it. No seasonings, nothing added. And then it'll just be a pasta layer his sauce, or actually the sauce, the pasta, the sauce, the in repeat with the Kraft Singles, the American cheese. And for ours, I have that cooking off. I'm gonna add chopped onion, some garlic, the marinara, and then I'm gonna season it with some onion powder and some sea salt. I'm not the largest, biggest fan of sausage. I don't really like sausage. I know a lot of people add that. Let me know in the comments below how you guys make your lasagna at home, what your recipe is, if you wanna share. And then ours, of course, will be, I bought a huge bag of mozzarella cheese for layers because who doesn't love cheese? Um, so, I got the big two pound bag of the mozzarella. And again, it'll just be the sauce, the pasta, the lasagna noodles, and then um, the cheese. So, layers among layers, which I'll film like a little time lapse of doing the layers because I think that would be quite satisfying to watch. So I'm going to continue on and I'll start filming once I'm doing my layers. Lasagna filling is complete. I'm just going to cover them, lower the heat and let them simmer off for a bit. So I was slightly concerned about chopping up this pineapple because I looked up to see when it's at its best ripeness and they say when you squeeze the outside of the pineapple, it should not be a hard shell. It should give a little, but it shouldn't give a lot. And I'm like, okay, I think that's my pineapple, but there was a lot of green on it. So I was kind of concerned, but there was also a lot of brown. So <laughs> cutting it, it was so juicy. I'm thinking this pineapple is gonna be perfection for all of us to eat. For the next few days so i am gonna try a piece because it's just way too good not to Beetle not juicy oh my gosh we nailed it baby you have to try a piece of this pineapple you want a piece i'll come bring you a piece larry is dusting <laughs> and i'm gonna plant this i'm gonna cut the tag off and i'm gonna plant this in the yard so 
we have another pineapple plant in a few years. Also, this pineapple that I just chopped, not our plant. We bought it at the store. Also, ah. cute little bump. Mmm. God, that's good. All right, guys, I think it is time to make the lasagna. It's been simmering for about 20 minutes or so, so I think that's perfect. And then Jackie and Bob should be here late afternoon, so it would be nice to just have this all prepped, ready to go. So when they get here, we can all catch up and talk and socialize. And then when they're like, yeah, I'm really hungry, then I could just pop it in the oven and it'll be like, perfect. Oh, also got a big salad to go with it, like those big tubs of spring mix. I also have carrots to go with that croutons, all sorts of dressing. There's more vegetables. Oh, cucumber. Anyways, a big, nice, delicious green salad to go with the lasagna. I think we're doing well. Lexi, that is not your food. There's this new trend going on with Lexi and Luna. We've changed Luna's food to a diet food, essentially, for her, or a food that'll help her maintain like a healthy weight or lose a little bit of weight technically because she's not able to groom herself correctly. So she's been doing really well, but Lexi loves the food to the point where she hoards and tries to get into Luna's bowl and won't eat her own now. <laughs> so I've had to pick up Lexi and move her several times already. This has been going on for like four days. It's, it's, I'm, it's, it's like babysitting the bowls. Like I don't have time to babysit the bowls and they're fed on opposite sides of the house. I'm getting to the point though where I'm gonna have to feed them for a half hour and what they don't finish, I'm just gonna have to pick up and they don't get their any more food until the evening. But I feel bad doing that. I feel awful like doing that. But if they're, if, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I don't know. See, look at her. She's just sitting here. She knows she's not supposed to eat it. So she's gonna sit there and stare at it. There's only like three kibbles in the bowl left. <laughs> and she's just gonna stare. Lexi, Lexi. That's not yours, you know that. Don't you dare eat that. Let's see what's left in it. Well, she's doing a good job not eating it. That's not yours, that's Luna's. So then I'm thinking I'm gonna have to switch brands entirely and get the regular version for Lexi because I think she notices it's a different food so I usually give them blue. That's what I was giving them. Now Luna's going over because we just looked at the bowl. She's like, hey, that's mine. Hey, that's mine. Be nice. Good girls. Lexi, oh my gosh, get out of her area. Let Luna eat her food. And then it's like the most pitiful thing because it looks like Lexi just isn't getting food and isn't eating, but oh no, 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 she does. She just, want, oh, she's feeling much better and her appetite has improved too since getting her ears checked and everything. But yeah, I think what I'm gonna, okay, so I was feeding them blue and I did the Science Hill diet for Luna, but I think I'm gonna have to transfer Lexi over to the Science Hill. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Um, regular because Lexi doesn't need to lose any weight. Um, I was trying not to have that happen because I just bought a full bag of food for Lexi and the Science Hill stuff is not cheap. Not that cat food is in general, but <laughs> anyways, that's the dilemma I'm having. Right, Lex? Well, we're not wanting our food anymore. We want Luna's. Yeah. So these are the lasagna noodles that I picked out and they're the ready, what do they call them? No boiling required. Highly recommended by you guys to save with time and you said it tastes the same. So I'm going with it. Oh, bake for 50 minutes and then remove foil and then bake for an additional 10 minutes. Allow stand five to 10 minutes. So, okay, cool. Anyway, let's do Larry's layers first. So he's gonna have a smaller, layers. still a good size dish. But it, layers. what layer layers 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 and then I'm gonna bring over his sauce set it on a nice little thingy bring it over. <laughs> I'm worried that these pasta noodles are not gonna fit in here they should oh perfect yeah, oh my gosh it's perfect for your dish which makes me 
worry about our dish because ours is a lot bigger than that. Aww. So for ours, it'll be like that. Do I still just, maybe I'll do like some more over here, some more over here. I'll figure it out. Guys, I'm so excited. Okay, Larry, yours is done. And I'm so excited for Larry to be able to eat this. Like, I just think it's like his little version of lasagna, and I love that. So it looks really good. He's going to love it. I'm hoping, though, it's not going to boil over and make a huge mess in the oven. That would suck. But I'm very excited. That's why I stopped where I stopped. Plus, it was perfect with the sauce. So very excited about that. So what I'm going to do is just... Let it kind of go to room temperature, I guess, and then cover it with foil and pop it in the fridge until we're ready to eat. And then I'll pull it out a little bit before it goes in the fridge. That way, you know, or before it goes in the oven. Now to do ours. Let's see how it goes. I'm also listening to some Frank Sinatra and Nat King Cole and Michael Buble, which is making me want to pour myself like a glass of wine, but not wine. Because I'm not a huge wine drinker. It gives me migraines. But I always like, sometimes I like doing this when I have dinner lately, I like to pour myself a juice. So let's pour ourselves one of these and they're potent. They don't mess around. So these are like no sugar added. It's just, it literally tastes like fresh pomegranates. So, which is what it is. But I think I'm going to pour a little bit in a small glass and enjoy it while I make the rest of the lasagna. Lexi, are you looking for Luna's food again? It is empty. No more. Your food is in the bedroom. It's also such a beautiful day today that we turned off the air. I started filming this video, the air was on, and I went outside and I was like, oh, it's so nice and cool out. It's a beautiful day. It has a breeze and there's no humidity, so we have all the windows open in the house, which is beautiful. So we're getting a nice fresh air breeze, airing out the house. And then here's just this small little glass of this juice, which is all you need, and it's perfection. Mm. And it is like if you purchase one of these guys, don't expect it to taste like no shade to Welch's, but like one of those juices where they're quite sweet. These are more on the tart side because they don't have any of the added sugar or anything like that. So, which is the reason why I bought it. They're unsweetened. That's the way to say it. Unsweetened. Which is, yes, what I like. Like, I don't like sweetening things. I wish all of our foods would be like that, unless you're literally buying a cake. But it's almost nice to just not, like don't sweeten it. Just leave it in its natural state. That would be great. <laughs> oh, wow. No, it's not. Oh, she's not walking her dog and the other dog. And the cats are all freaked out. Guys, change of plans. I do not think at all I'm gonna have enough to use this. Like, I'm just not, I'm not gonna have enough. So, we need to change that plan, change it immediately, and use one of the smaller glass. This thing is so heavy. Oh my God, don't tell me that I, that's the biggest one I have. It is not the biggest one I have. Ermagerd. is happening uh oh are you kidding me right now yeah i thought i had a bigger glass dish than this i swore i have a bigger glass dish than this but smaller than that white one <gasps> what's happening what's happening what's happening oh, okay i do have one why is it not showing itself okay oh 
Oh, son of a biscuit eating bulldog. Okay, that must be at my parents' house and it must be theirs. Oh, you know what? Remember when I made mom and dad lasagna when dad was working night shift and it was chaotic and she broke her hand and all that? Or her wrist? I made lasagna and I took it over to them and I never got my glass tray back. That's where it is. Okay, I'm like, am I going crazy or something? But no, no. Okay, well, that just means we don't have a choice. Back to this, this is what we're using. Okay, we are eating lunch outside because it's so beautiful out and the lasagna is foiled <laughs> and put in the fridge and I just have to do the dishes but I'm hungry so I need to eat before I do those. But today I made myself inspired by the restaurant. Oh wait, I did vlog it so you guys already saw it. I made myself some over medium. They're pretty much cooked all the way through eggs and then avocado toast. I'm going to sneeze because there's so much pepper, which you guys probably see on my eggs. Hold on. Is it coming? She's coming. <coughs> okay. We want two eggs and two pieces of avocado toast and it's half of an avocado split between two pieces of toast and it is seeded rye. So I'm going to enjoy this, finish my juice keep chugging my water, and then we'll tackle those dishes. Hi, Nina. We have Luna there, Lexi there, and there's a wild Larry up here. Hello. He's cleaning those windows way up there. And you and I, I have a little malt ball egg in my mouth, are about to wash a lot of big pots and pans and dishes, so let's do that. is now working on the inside of those upper windows. I also have Harry Potter playing on the TV. And I'm gonna take you guys into the bathroom for a cute little mirror bump update. So we are 17 weeks and here is a 17 week bump from the side. From the front you can't tell, especially with the, um, the black pants, but, but yeah. We're bumping along guys. So Jackie and Bob should be here any minute, which means I do think I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for spending the morning with me and seeing our updates and everything else like that. So I'm gonna show you guys Lexi really quick cause she's super cute and taking a nap. <laughs> she's just, oh, she's all upside down. Oh, hi Lexi. Oh my goodness, hi. Hi now. 
All right, now I will say goodbye, and bye. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye! Say bye! Bye!